When Lake Placid, New York hosted the Winter Olympics back in 1980, the conditions for the outdoor events were less than ideal. But the games went on and Lake Placid took its place in Olympic history. But that same winter, in the weeks leading up to the games, another Adirondack town was also hoping to shine in the world spotlight. Glens Falls, New York, was all set to host some of the world's top Nordic skiers on its cross-country course in Crandall Park, famous at the time for being the first lighted cross-country ski course in all of North America. But with the mild weather and lack of snow, the warm-up races for the Olympics were canceled. Over the years, time has taken a toll on that cross-country course, and now after 30-some years, the city of Glens Falls and dozens of volunteers are working to return the area known as Coles Woods and that once famous cross-country trail back to their past grandeur. Crews from the Wilton and Comstock prisons have been working for months to clear dead and damaged trees and limbs. The forest had been left for so long and there were so many mature older trees that had died off. Um, they were basically what we considered standing widow makers. They're dead trees that a good windstorm could knock over. In its heyday in the early 70s, world-class skiers came here to compete. It was the first lighted cross-country ski trail in North America. Tom Jacobs, a member of the 1952 U.S. Olympic ski team, was a driving force behind the trail and hosting international competitions that drew Nordic skiers from around the world to these woods in Glens Falls. It's a terrific place for cross country and for racing, terrific. Jacobs and other community volunteers have for decades helped groom and maintain the trails. We started skiing in the woods a lot. We loved it and then we realized that someone has to do the work to uh, keep it going. But over the years, trees and brush along these trails have become overgrown. We were concerned about the safety of the park. So with the help of Senator Betty Little, the city has brought in dozens of inmates to help clean up years of debris to get the trails back in shape. The community pays our salaries and it comes full circle. We'll let them come back and work in these areas and clean these trails up for the communities. And students from BOCES have also been helping out. Picking up wood, moving stumps, leveling trails. Thomas Allen has been getting on-the-job experience, learning how to operate heavy equipment. We're just out here to help as a community service project. The city's public works crews are chipping in too, fixing up wooden bridges built by Eagle Scouts, while the city's electrician, Jerry Coffey, will repair the lighting and put in new LED lights. Coffee installed the original lighting back in the 70s and would like to see the trail shine again. I think it really puts us on the map. I mean, we have international ski races in here from other schools. So I think it really benefits the community. But most of the work is being done by Friends of Coles Woods, the volunteer organization that's raising $6,000 for new light poles and perhaps more equipment down the road. It would be nice to have snow making on even a little tiny bit of it. Uh, that may be a dream, but it's one that a bunch of us share. And for the city in these tough economic times, it's a dream come true. Without volunteers, this piece of property would not have been saved. The volunteers worked tirelessly to, to save this piece of property. Tough economic times, we don't have the manpower, uh, we, we don't have the funding to be able to take on projects like this. This is how we make a, a success story. We can't do it independently anymore. So we need volunteers and we get the volunteers. Once the trail is restored, the city hopes to host more nationally sanctioned races and draw more skiers to Glens Falls, which it hopes could provide a big boost to the economy. If we could combine uh, the attractiveness of, of the venue for its residents as well as outside visitors, as well as uh, a place where we could run uh, these higher level Nordic uh, ski races, um, you know, it's, it's a win-win. I kind of liken it to uh, what Disney World is to Florida, Coles Woods is to Glens Falls. I think it's, it's just a great effort, uh, a great community effort. If you'd like more information on how to donate or volunteer to help, you can contact the City of Glens Falls Rec Department or Friends of Coles Woods. You'll find that info and links on our website at mountainlake.org.